Welcome, um, Aries. This is the um, Pisces season. Um, the spicy season begins February 19 until March 20. Please remember to write these um, dates down. The Scorpion season tells you about uh, um, the issues, the situation, the people um, that you're going to be coming up against. It's about picking the crystal, pick one of the crystal to help you through this season. It is a season reading, it's not monthly reading, it's a season reading, okay? There are four crystals, you need to choose one of the crystal that is going to be guiding you um, from February 5th, uh, 19 until um, March 28th, okay? Please remember to show your love by thumbs up if you have a business or you want to know something about career that you did not get in a, this season reading, you can check out the business channel, okay? It's just Catacon um, business channel. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, um, let's go in this. What we have, two major arcana, three, three major arcana, okay? And um, three major arcana and financial stability. So, what we're seeing and what is transpiring is there in the first week you're dealing with water now it is emotion it is quite it's a spicy time um it is about emotional situation so i see some sort of a trade changes is coming in um with your materialistic stability and that is very good because this is a reading of abundance and prosperity and that sort of a thing so what is happening and what is transpiring is that you're recognizing what is happening in the spicy season. The spicy season is bringing you some sort of an experience with a scorpion and some sort of a transition that is going to be coming in in the first week. This week is from the 19th until the 28th. Now, the energy of the 19th until the 28th, something is coming to an end. So in order to find out what is going to be coming to an end, um, something after end so that something new begins. Now, when we see the energy of the Empress and the Chariot in the middle, that is saying that a lot of you are going to be breaking away and coming out of some sort of a um, issue, problem, situation that was creating an horrible mess for you and is going to be moving in another direction that is going to be creating a lot of positive uh, um stability wealth and stability okay so what we're recognizing here is that we are recognizing that there has to be an end to something in your life in this first um week of this spicy season in order for you to recognize uh, the next step okay and as this situation is now coming to an end coming to a closure the next step uh, moving on um, um, the 1st of March until the 7th of March is going to be as if you're starting anew. So it could be some of you are ending, walking away from a job, ending a job, ending a business, walking away, um, and, um, creating something much better or moving to a much paid job. So a lot of you could be the end of you, you know, sitting at, sitting at home and you are starting for yourself. You're going to be a self-employed um, self-employed or you are going to be changing your jobs or you have received a new job that you're going to be beginning the first of march or in that area so however it is happening and transpiring we see that um you areas are leaving the month uh you're leaving the last week the beginning of the pisces season with you ending something, you're ending something and you're looking forward. So if you notice how this dead, dead energy is, is that you're ending something and looking forward. You're no longer looking backwards. You are ending something and really looking forward, forward in a really positive direction. So, um, this is, um, going to be good. This is going to be wonderful. Um, I don't think and see, um, that you are going to be um creating some sort of a, a wonderful possibilities in your world as you make this transition from this um this this end of february because this end of uh, february is the 19 between the 19 and the 28 you're going to be making some sort of an ending some sort of a transition 
you could be doing it someone else could be doing it it's going to be affecting a whole lot of you but it's nothing that is dying it is about transition you have to leave something something have to die something at the end so that you receive a new powerful beginning okay so this is um wonderful then when we look at the second the second week as we look at the energy of the second week this is powerful we have the Buddha watching over the Empress. So uh, this is a week of father, mother could be helping some of you out financial, financially. This is really powerful. This is really positively aligning um, your financial flow. But I see the energy of mother, father. So in this week, some of you, um, the week of the 1st of March until the 7th of March, some of you could be getting pregnant. Some of you are going to be having menstruation cycles, uh, problems, pain, um, some sort of uh, situation with your womb is going to be coming up for some of you. So recognize that, okay? Um, a lot of you are going to be having a situation that you have to be helping your parents out. That is going to be coming up in this um, situation. And I see um, some of you women, some sort of a unexpectedly, some sort of a um mysterious thing is going to be happening when it comes to your body okay so recognize that so it could be you just start losing weight or um you know however this is happening and transparent you're going to be recognizing that some sort of a um changes that you're going through is affecting your body where uh, um you know hair could be just growing you know it, it's just unexpected situation but um, this situation is about women. For men, it is going to be uh, some sort of a new materialistic stability, some sort of a new um, endeavor of something new could be created. So like um, men and women, um, you Aries men and women are very fertile in the second week. So you got to be aware of this. You got to be recognizing that this is a week I can't, you know, play the game because I'm very, very fertile. Okay. Then we are looking at the um, third week. And the third week is a really positive week. It's a, a, a third week is about moving forward, okay? The third week is accepting and recognizing that you're getting a position to move forward. Whatever that was keeping you and keeping you back or blocking you, you are receiving this powerful energy that is going to be helping you to move forward and Wherever you're moving forward with, um, in the week of the third week, and the third week is from um, the 8th until the 14th, the third week is from the 8th until the 14th, is going to be a very, very powerful week for you guys. From the 8th until the 14th, write these down, guys, is going to be a very, very powerful week for you guys. Because what is transpiring is that you're pulling out, you're moving forward, you're taking back something and you know reigning taking your powers back and reigning pushing your powers and going forward and this is going to be good so what is happening and transpiring is that you're understanding and recognizing um that you've you have made some choice to make some sort of a forward movement and you're going to be accepting this and just moving forward in a really powerful way so this is going to be an absolutely, absolutely um, positive time. This is going to be a time when you are accepting who you are and taking the the power in your end and really taking the, taking the step in order to move forward. And you are going to be really uh, moving forward in a very positive way because you're going to be recognizing that you should have made this decision before, okay? So a lot of you is about finding your... Um, willpower um, is, is this 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 is about you know finding your willpower okay it's about the confidence regaining the confidence and finding your willpower and your inner self your inner mirror in order to charge forward and charge out in a wonderful way and this is going to be good when we look at the fourth week the week is from the eight until the um 15 until the 20th, the week um, from the 15th until the 20th, what is happening and transpiring with that week from the 15th until the 20th, we recognize that your materialistic financial um, 
stability is going to be balancing out okay so when we have the energy of the four of pentacles it's always about your possession and taking back control over your possession okay so this is going to be a good week so the week the fourth week and right on the date um between the uh, 15 until the 20th you are going to be taking back uh, possession and control of your materialistic uh, position okay and that is going to be good so um you know the first suggestion is about uh, uh, monetary gains okay and that is going to be coming in in this week this week of the 15 until 20 monetary gains okay good news is going to be here for a lot of you really good news um is going to be coming in um and this is going to be good okay um and yet underneath the good news the surface is um you know wanting you to make sure this time you don't lose um um you hold on tighter to your money okay hold on tighter to your money okay and you know when when people come in and just hold on tighter you don't have it you don't know these are hard times and whatever you have you gotta hold on tight to okay so displeasing sometimes it's going to be displeasing to others if others ask you for um financial help but it, it is okay i mean um you gotta protect yourself ladies and gentlemen and yeah if someone asks you and you know they're kind of upset that you know you can't help them you know that that that's what it is but um what they're saying in this week is that um Aries you need to hold on to um hold on um to whatever you have because um um however this is transpired if it wasn't yours in the first place then you're not going to be having it okay so um but it, it, it is all about holding on. It's all, it's all about rebuilding your financial stability and really holding on and really regenerating and really taking back powers and creating some sort of a normal stability, really creating normal normality and stability in your world and around your world and recognizing who you are and what has been happening and transpiring okay so um you know i am saying to you guys uh, um you're to um you know this is the, the the pisces season is going to be good for you aries okay um whatever is happening whatever is transpired is going to be a very very good um um time for you aries there is uh, it's about moving forward okay it's about moving forward so um pisces season is going to be giving you a push moving you forward uh, and that is going to be helping you to rebuild your financial stability so this is just going to be wonderful and powerful but you gotta choose your crystal to see which um um which way is better for you you gotta choose your crystal in order to see which way is better for you what is the best way what is best for you so you gotta choose your crystal to have some sort of an understanding of what is going to be good for you what is going to be the best thing for you and you know what is the direction you need to take it will advise you and by that advice is going to be helping you to open you out and pushing you in the right direction in order to accomplish your materialistic flow of money to come in. So, you know, this is it. This is personal. But um, in order, if you have, you know, looking at your career, you can check out the other channel. But this is like a personal reading to say, hey, um, help is going to be coming in where um, this help is going to be pushing you in order to build a financial stability in your world in order to understand that you need to take back your reign in order to make sure that your money grow for you, that you can't just keep on giving, lending, giving a 10, a 20. No, um, you got to be focusing and recognizing that you are the only one and the only person that is going to be, um, you know, have to push you and help you that there is no other one there is no other person um that is going to be doing that for you so this is really wonderful and positive i really love you guys uh, 
please remember show your love by thumbs up show um, um you know send out these readings um show your love by thumbs up and i want to say a namaste until next time